Sorry. You come alone? Yeah. Why'd we have to meet all the way out here? Gives me the creeps, Danny. It's okay. You're with me. Yeah, I hope that's a good thing. I'm counting on you to get me out of here in one piece. That's the plan. What do you want me to do? I need now is the girl. Don't go crazy, Tammy, okay? We could do what we need to do without the book, can't we? Sure, but I want everything to be perfect, and this book had some really good ideas. I just... I want everything to be right. This letter will guarantee that you get that grant, Joey. It has to be good. Yeah, we do if, uh, I want to go to college without making my work ten jobs. Hey, we are not gonna let that happen, okay? Okay, you are the best. Speaking of mothers, excited mother told Tammy! Me. Hey, Billy. Hey, what's up, Doc? Oh, not much, but uh, what brings you here? Well, 
I goes, come for an A, me. Oh. But, uh, now my car won't start, so... Oh, well, I, I, I'd love to give you a jump, uh, Billy, but I'm not no, here listening. No, it's okay. Josh Reaver coming will pick me up. All right. Well, listen, it's good seeing you. Yeah, good to see you, too. Right. Hey, oh, oh, how's your dad doing in, uh, in Africa? Uh, he's not, uh, doing too bad. I guess I've only spoken to him once since he's left. Well, he's doing real important work over there. I guess you're, uh, pretty proud of him, huh? Yeah, Billy, I am. I just wish he'd find some good work closer to home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey! We were hey. supposed to meet you in the garage. When are you gonna get yourself a new car? What? Get rid of Miss Baby? Oh. No, 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 no. She runs like new. Hey, she Brad. ran like new in 1986, <laughs> Billy. Hello How's Leah? Hey, Josh. How you? Oh, she's doing good. She took her first road trip with her mommy, her brother, and her cousin. Mel took them on a road trip, the yeah. three of them? You've got to be kidding me. Mel took her parents along, too. Oh. So, <laughs> everything worked out fine. Rick? Hey! Can I, you know what? Um, some, uh, can you take a look at her? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's her nose was bleeding. I think something's wrong with her. Okay, well, just let's go right inside. And take a look. Okay, sweetheart. Listen, just just put her in your lap. Uh, okay. Kids don't tend to like this part very much. Babies don't get nosebleeds, right? Take it easy. This will be fine. Okay, sweetheart. Come here. Uncle Rick's gonna take a listen. Okay, is that okay? okay? She sounds a little congested. She been coughing? Some. Okay. Has her nose been running? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna take a look at your ears, okay? All right. Take a look. And it's just a little bit. There you go. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. So you take a little look. Okay. Yours look good. Yours look very good. Well, what is it? I think she just has a little cold. <laughs> yeah. A cold? Yeah. Yeah. Cold. Well, don't you think you need to run some tests? If, why was her nose bleeding if she's just got a cold? Uh, it's probably just the dry air. Have this prescription filled in. She should be fine in a couple weeks. Did I say a couple weeks? Three days. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure. Tell your daddy he worries too much. I guess I overreacted. Just a little bit, but you know what? Given Lizzie's history, it's uh, understandable. That's what it was. I saw the nosebleed, and it yeah. just made me think about Lizzie, and it just scared me. <laughs> I tell you, this is one part of my life that's still out of whack. Hey, being a parent, there's a lot of responsibility, pal. Everybody gets freaked out every now and then. Yeah, but it's more than that, because I can handle the rest of it. I have a tension with Olivia and being back at Spalding, that's fine. That's nothing compared to this. No, listen, I hear what you're saying. I mean, I'm going through it myself. My dad, he's gone now. I'm head of the household. Talk about a job I don't want. Is Michelle having a hard time again? Yeah, he's uh, apparently back with the mob again. Great. Yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. It's just so predictable, isn't it? Yeah. So Michelle asked Mel to take Robbie to Uncle Mike's house. To keep him safe? Looks that way. Do you think something's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the sounds of it. Chief, uh, I got some of my guys trying to track down the owner of the building so we'll know exactly what we're dealing with inside there. Good. I'm going to keep my guys out till we know for sure. A lot of these warehouses keep chemicals in storage. Well, if that's the case, then the first blast probably won't be the last. That's right. Frank! Thanks. I just sent in a team to search for casualties. You did what? On whose authority? On my authority. 
My guess is that there was a night watchman on duty, so we want to get him out of there before the place blows again, right? You're unbelievable. You sent guys into a building without knowing what they're getting themselves into? Exactly what are you doing here? What? You know, with due respect, Jeffrey, why don't you let the decisions about firefighting to the professionals who know exactly what they're doing? Mom, I'm just here to pick up a book, that's all. Oh. Yeah, Tammy's helping me with my resume. Figured I have to work two jobs this summer in order to pay for classes next fall. Well, I'm sure I can find a job for you here at the Mom. hotel. Mom, Joey. Joey's not looking for handouts. Actually, we're both looking for work. We gotta get it together if we're gonna afford college. Yes. Tammy, I don't want you to worry about paying for college. Mom, I know there's no secret college fund floating around anywhere. I made sure we have a hotel, but it's not like we're rolling in money or anything. Don't worry, lots of people work their way through college. So, I guess that book's not here. Let's just go to company and work it out on paper, huh? Okay. See ya. Bye, Mrs. Winslow. The Beacon. Olivia, hi. Yeah, I... What? Okay, well, I think it's great that Philip wants to take... I know. Emma is his daughter. <laughs> I know, Olivia, believe me, I know being a mother can be hard. No, it's fine here. Don't, don't worry about it. Yes, I'm sure. Just keep me posted about Emma. Thank you. Bye. So, I can't believe we have to wait around for the tow truck to pick up your hunk of junk. Oh, well, what's the problem? I mean, we're all together and we're having fun. <laughs> oh, by the way, we ran into Bill at the Beacon. Uh... Apparently he has a case of cold feet. Who well, don't we all? Good point. <laughs> oh, you know, you men. Oh, come on. You mean to tell me you never had a case of cold feet in all of your shotgun weddings? For starters, I never had a shotgun wedding because I knew exactly what I was doing every time. And you're selling bridges today, <laughs> used ones, right? You should have heard the advice she gave Bill. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Watch it, mister. Hmm. Well, no, no, go ahead, Reeve. I, I really want to hear what you told my boy. Oh, actually, it was to Eden. Oh, no, don't tell you. You didn't tell him to tell <laughs> Eden to buy herself a red dress? Keeps things spicy. Isn't that what you told him? It does keep things spicy, and you both know it. Uh, that's a big no comment here. <laughs> no comment from here either. <laughs> okay. I've had just about enough from the peanut gallery. Do either one of you have any brilliant ideas when it comes oh, to Bill and Eden? Well, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, I do. I thought they should uh, take their honeymoon <clears throat> at Cross Creek. Well, it's pretty nice up there this time of year. I think for once, Billy, you've got a great idea there. What do you think? <laughs> I, I, hey, the smell of daisies in the air and the spirit of HB and Miss Martha, I think it's a fabulous okay, idea. Okay, well, I'll, I'll bring it up to him. Eden is a lucky gal. Yeah, and I think Bill is too. No, I, I didn't really take to Eden at first, but she's going to make a real fine addition to this family. Where are you? For you, Donna. There's a woman in here. You want to hear? Yeah, I heard. Listen, Frank, um, about earlier, I'm sorry if I overstepped, but you know. Yeah, well. You may have saved a life. Let's hope so. So, wh what do you think? Do you th think this was an accident? Well, your guess is as good as mine. You know about these old buildings. They go up all the time. Well, I guess we'll know more once we find out who was inside. Does Olivia know you're here? She wasn't home. Oh. Don't you think you better give her a call? Why? You okay? Oh, okay. Well, let's get it up. We'll come on. Here we go. I'm gonna try over here. You should probably give her a call, pal. Why should I call her? You said she's fine. I'm here. I'm her father. Okay. And Olivia is the mother, right? Right. So? Olivia controlled everything for months. I'm just taking back some of that control. Mm, sounds like another war coming on, which makes me ask the rhetorical question, why are you married to this woman? And as I told you before, we've been through this. She's my wife. Yeah, so you say. 
Olivia and I have an understanding, right? She does what she has to to get what she wants. I'm just making sure she gets what she deserves. Is Edmund around? No, but I, I can take them. Make sure well, he gets them. He's not going to be in at all this evening? Well, he's um, at a meeting right now. Ooh. You can wait for him if you'd like. Perhaps I will. Why don't you go in the bar, and I'll send him in when he gets here. <laughs> Thank you. No, I think I'll wait right here. I can't quite get over the name over that bar, that quaint little bar of yours. It's in shivers up and down my spine. Is she okay? Why is she here? Yeah, she's all right. Yeah, it's just a cold. Do you need to call me? I mean, leave me a message or something. Don't you know that I'm going to worry? I'm sorry. I didn't think that you'd be home. This is your game. This is your new game. You're going to make me worry like I made you worry. Philip was just worried about Emma having a nosebleed, that's all. Yeah. A nosebleed? Yeah. She's is that normal? Well, she's just catching a cold. It's, it must be the dry air. It's, it's, she's going to be fine. Hmm. Dr. Bauer? Yeah? There's been an explosion in a warehouse. What? Why, are there any casualties? Not yet. Okay. Uh, just keep me updated, please. Sure. Okay. Uh, listen, I gotta get going. Yeah. Go, um, go, go. Call me if there's any change. Okay. okay. All right. Bye, sweetheart. Mm. Rick, thanks. You're welcome, pal. Hey, sweetheart. Gosh, sometimes the world can be such a scary place. Huh? So many terrible things can happen. Darcy. I can see you come in. Hi, Cassie. Yeah, uh, I was supposed to meet Frank, but he just called. There was some sort of emergency or something, so. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, Must be Ms. rather Holding. trying, isn't it? To, I mean, living with the chief of police, never knowing when they're going to be called away. Mm. Well, he's worth the trouble. Mm. That's right, and he's a great guy. He is. Well, you look so pretty. Why don't you stay and have a drink, at least? <laughs> On the why, why don't I buy you both a drink? No. Oh. I, I, I mean, um, that's very nice of you, but uh, not necessary, actually. I was going to call Eden and see if maybe she'll meet with me tonight. Oh, that's a very good idea. One last night on the town as the bad girl before she becomes the poster girl for wedded bliss. Eden told me you were upset about the wedding, Miss Balding. Worried about your bad girl getting married and all of that. But I'll tell you something. Eden has had more bad breaks in her life than anyone else I know. It's about time things change for the better. She deserves a chance at happiness. Over there! Look at you with the high tech, huh? In my day, we used an Instamatic. Yeah. Well, times have changed. She was a beautiful girl. It's a shame. But that's life, right, Danny? I guess so, yeah. Can you print me one of those? Sure. I gotta say, I had my doubts about you going through with this, but... You made me proud, Danny. Real proud. Oh, man. I better call Gus. You guys find anyone else in there? No. But we saw flammables. This place could blow again any second. All right, good work. I'm in. So? Well, I gotta tell you, this looks like the real thing. Danny did what he was supposed to do. I saw the explosion. They pulled a, someone out. It was a woman. And? I don't think she's gonna make it, Vinny. Good. Who was she? It doesn't matter. Now make sure we're clean and get out of there. Don't let anybody see you. 
Ah, uh, you got it. Is that your confirmation that I'm not lying? You know how it is, Danny. Yeah, I do. So, Vinny, you got your proof. You know how far I'm willing to go for you. Now what? Okay? Yeah, she just got a cold. It's fine. I'm gonna um, get her prescription. All right, I'll get her car seat. Okay. Um, I don't mean to be nosy. It's just that you looked so concerned when you came in. I overreacted. Well, that's a parent's prerogative. She had a nosebleed. It reminded me of Lizzie. When she was diagnosed with mm -hmm. leukemia. Yeah. That must have scared you to death. To say the least, yes. I know how difficult it is when your child's hurting. It's the most horrible feeling in the world. Oh, yeah, it's the worst, but she's fine. Thank God. Mm hmm And you? And me what? How are you feeling these days? Good. Yeah? Getting back to my old self. I'm glad. Which may or may not be a good thing, depending upon whom you ask. Would you stop that? I do want you to know, though, that I tried to come and see you, but I wasn't on the list. Oh, yes, the list. So was that your wife's idea? Uh, Olivia likes to be in control. Don't remind me. No, we'll change the subject then. But thanks for trying. You're welcome. So seeing as you are getting back to your old self, are you going to um, stay married to her? I thought we were changing the subject. I'm just curious. She's my wife. That sounds like a stock answer to me. Do you love her? We have a daughter together. Bella, come on. We're old friends, right? And I don't want you to take this wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You married once, well, maybe twice, for love. And all the others were, well, they were what they were. OK. We all have one person. And she's not yours. So, are you happy? Sure, yeah. Today? Uh, life's good. You know, mm. I just, I don't expect too much. How's your love life? <laughs> love is for young girls. You know, I, I just want to focus on what's important, which is her future. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing, Olivia, but... Uh... You know, you gotta take care of yourself, too. You have a right to be happy. Well, I appreciate your concern, but I'm, I'm fine. Listen, um, if Philip's not the one, maybe you should just let it go. Where's this coming from? <laughs> I, <laughs> I give advice these days. It's really? what, I'm not very good at it, actually. I, I, I it's, don't know if I say that, I but I, I appreciate it. I really okay. Do. I'll, I'll see you later. You have a beautiful daughter there. Don't forget that. I know. I okay. won't. Bye. Bye. Well, isn't this a lovely surprise? How are you, Alexandra? Oh, fine, fine. Listen, I uh, dropped by the plans for the San Cristobal Festival. Um, Cassie wasn't kind enough to let me loiter around in her lobby. <laughs> My lobby? It's your lobby. Well, yes, actually it is. I, I still do keep a sweet here, don't I? <laughs> Anyway, I thought you ought to look them over in case there's some changes you wanted to make. Absolutely. How about um, the bar in five minutes? Five minutes. You've got it. And Cassie, thank you for entertaining me, dear. Anytime. My nose growing. What? Mm. Never mind. Why it bothers me that you do business with that woman? Oh, jealousy. No, I wish it were that simple. I do. I just. I don't like that you sometimes work with the Spaldings. Oh, please. The Spaldings are sweethearts compared to most of my former business associates. Besides, it's something else. It's something more than just my meeting with Alexandra. What's wrong, Cassie? It's just... Tammy, you know, I... I came down the stairs earlier and she was rummaging behind the desk and... <laughs> I don't know what made me jump to the conclusion, but I thought she was coming home. I thought she was here to stay. Ah, uh, and she's not. Cassie, 
Tammy is coming back. And right now, it's not as if she's living on the street. She's staying at your sister's. She's still my little girl. Now, when she was little, she was taken away from me for a while, and it felt like forever. There's nothing worse than feeling like you've lost your daughter or anyone you love. Cassie, you are not going to lose Tammy. No, okay, no, I just... I don't know what's wrong with me. It just feels like all's not right with the world. We don't know that yet. Right, I need to talk to somebody that does know. Hey, you guys, this is, this is my sister. Just Gus, is she going to be all right? Gus, come on, take it easy. Just answer the question. Gus, is she going to be all right? There's no pulse. I will take it easy later. Okay, Let them do them their them job, Gus. Come on. It's me. She's not breathing. We need you to back up. Back off. Here, here. Back off. Come on. Please. Please. It's Frank it Cooper. Hey, Frank, what's up? I've got some bad news. Oh, yeah? What's that? There's been an explosion down at the docks. I heard about it. You're not going to tell me Bill was there. No, it's Eden. She's hurt pretty bad, but uh, listen, I, I thought maybe Bill should hear this from you. Yeah, I'll get over there right away. Look, um, it, is she going to be okay? It doesn't look good, Billy, but uh, just do me a favor. Keep Bill away as long as you can, and I'll call you when I know more. Yeah, th thanks a lot for calling. Sorry for doubting you, Danny. I know this is tough, but it's, it's tough on all of us. Yeah. Eden was a good kid, but she made bad choices. Bad choices have consequences. All choices have consequences. And yours will pay off, I can promise you that. You're one of us again, Danny. You and I are gonna do great things together. <clears throat> yeah, right now I think I just need a drink. Help yourself. I got something to take care of. I'll be right back. It's me. Um, I was hoping you'd pick up. Uh, maybe you're in still at Cedars. I don't know. Um, call me when you get this. Okay, I just uh, was thinking about you. Okay. Bye. Love you. <sighs> well, 
Edmund, you seem to have made quite a life for yourself here in Springfield, huh? I'm working on it, Alexandra. I'm working on it. Well, I can see that. And business is going well. Well, one might hope so. And um, you've become quite a family man as well, haven't you? Cassie and her children are the first real family I've ever had. So, uh, one has to do everything one can to keep them safe. After all, there's nothing more important in the world than a family. Let's see it. Go talk to her. No, I can't. I'll say the wrong thing, she'll say the wrong thing. We'll just make it worse. I'm not ready. Hey, uh, any word on the explosion? Not yet, but it looks like it's gonna be a long night. No, I hope not. Hey, thanks for everything. Right, you, you're welcome, buddy. All set? Yeah, yeah. I'll, um, I'll follow you home, okay? All right, let me see you. Let me see you. Say hi, Daddy. Somebody's feeling a little better. You feeling yeah. better, my little one? And you should have seen her smiling. She has the most beautiful smile, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> she has your smile. Listen, um, you did, you did the right thing, you know, I'm bringing her in here. You're a good father. I have my moments. No, really, you're, you're generally good with all your kids. <laughs> Should have done much more to help Lizzie. Should have been much harder on her. Well, we all do what we think is right at the time, don't we? Can't fault you for that. I know you're tired, baby. I know. I know. What's going on? What? What do you mean? No, it just sounded like you actually... We're being honest there. It's okay. I don't want to fight. Is that okay? Yes. Be nice for a change. Yeah, babe. <gasps> <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hey. Uh, guys, I was just, I was just waiting for Eden. What's going on? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Gus, 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 Gus. Why are they taking our jacket? Hold on. Take it easy. Just, just give me a second, all right? You guys, there's only way he can come with you. Yeah. Thanks. Listen, I'm going to call Harley, okay? I'll have her meet you at Cedars. Okay. Okay. I can call Harley for you, Frank. Thanks. Uh, I feel so horrible for this guy. I know. I mean, if that had been Harley, I, uh, I know Frank. I just, I just pray to God nobody else is in that building. Oh my God, Michelle! Michelle! No! no! Come on, Michelle. Michelle, please. Michelle. Michelle, please. Dear. Come on, Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Michelle. Oh, please. Michelle. Michelle, please. Michelle. Hey, what, what happened? Frank's got to know what caused it. Well, they, they don't know anything right now. I think it's just enough information. It's too no, early. This, this can't be happening. They're doing everything they can, Bill. You have to be strong. Yeah, yeah. for Eden. No, I gotta go see that her. Way, I don't think Frank wants to stay here. Frank just wants us to stay here. Frank, to stay stay here. here. Okay, we're safe. Do you think they bought it? Yeah, I think they did. Congratulations, Eden. You're officially dead.
Is that a full day? Why don't you take off? Go home and see your wife. Yeah, I will. I just uh, need a few minutes. Michelle. Michelle, please. Michelle, please, please don't leave me. Please, Michelle. Michelle, please look at me. Stay with me. Stay with me, please. Okay? Please. Stay with me. Stay with me, Michelle.